basically we go into houses that where people have um, feel uneasy and creeped out by things they can't see. So when I go and do an investigation, I try to get right down to it and try to make contact with the spirits, talk to them and find out, you know, if there's any messages or that they would like to um, share with the family. Uh, I have a thing called a K2 um, device, which it measures electricity fields. Um, basically, it also believes that if there is a spirit close to me, it will trigger the lights to go off. And that's how I can make conversations with the supposed spirit. If you have messages or you would like to talk to us, just step forward close to me, close to this device, and it will go off. Or you can talk into this silver device that I'm holding in my hand. Neither of these devices will harm you. I'm not here to harm you or be disrespectful. Is this the spirit of Roland Michaud? Every time that I go into an a investigation and try to talk with the spirits or individuals, I feel like I'm helping them and that makes me feel good at the end of an investigation knowing that I've actually been able to make communication with somebody on the other side knowing that I'm not afraid of them, that I'm there to help them. Are you male or female? They can have unfinished business or they just want to hang around, you know, they want to watch their loved ones grow up or they just want to be with their loved ones because they feel, you know, they, they don't rest unless they feel that they're at peace with their passing on. Can you do that again? One more time to the third notch. Were you angry about the renovations? It went three, two for yes and three for no, right? So saying no. When we were doing the renovations for the 70th birthday, um, there were a few staff members who were maybe not on board with the renovations and some of the changes I was doing. So I was texting with the old station manager and saying that, you know, kind of this is what we're doing. And if people are unhappy, that's really too bad for them. And as I hit send on my cell phone, I walked out of my office door, came out here, and we used to have a clock that was up on this wall before the feature wall was here. And as I came out the door, the clock came flying down at my head so hard that it actually took off the paint and part of this wooden strip on the wall. And one of the other ladies in traffic saw that and we both kind of got a chuckle and thought, okay, there's definitely maybe somebody not so happy about the renovations, but you know, as we heard tonight, maybe he's okay with what we've done now, so that makes me happy. <laughs> like none of us will probably really understand the spirit realm. Um, they could be very attached to that place and they still feel like it's there, where they feel that that's their space and their domain. It could have been, uh, you know, anybody before passed away. So I do believe that there is something here. I don't believe that he or she is malicious. I don't think that they mean anybody any harm. Yeah, so. I think that they just want to communicate and just be like everybody else.